Hey, what's up guys? It's Oakley and we are going to be back. I am back from vacation. Not quite home yet. I'm still kind of couch surfing with some friends. Um, but I do have access to my computer and that means we are back to doing massive battles as you guys have requested. Sorry for the a bit of repetitive videos in the past, but now we're back to playing some good old fashion massive battles. Uh, and this one is going to be awesome. This is going to be on the large setting of Persepolis. So a very cool city that has a lot of defenses up here. A very cool courtyard. Uh, ringed by cliffs and then you have a lot of defensible positions kind of in this top citadel uh, let's go ahead and press K so you can see it's gonna be Parthia as myself and Armenia defending so we have a lot of our guys positioned in this the uh, I don't know what to call this I guess we'll just keep calling it the citadel and then you have two Roman armies one is here and he has a lot of these big pieces of siege equipment if you guys don't know what these are these are basically giant not um, battering rams for a gate, but battering rams for a wall. Uh, and so those are going to come in and breach the walls right there. And then our other opponent over here is going to be breaching the walls over in this position, coming in to tackle us. Our strategy was to kind of allow our opponents to breach the walls. Um, and then I was going to try and target certain types of, uh, you know, just the infantry from a distance. It looked like that shot missed. But yeah, basically, we were not exactly looking to do too much damage at the walls. We we're more planning on uh, waiting it out, drawing them into our defenses. And I'll go ahead and show you what our defenses consist of. So just a couple guys at the periphery here. And then over in this position, I have a lot of these stake pits. So once the Romans come up here, they're going to run into a whole hell of a lot of defenses. If they decide to go left, then we have these tar traps. And then we have this nice little plaza, which we can defend with um, these very, very elite uh, and heavily armored spearmen plus archers, plus cataphracts, so that should be covered. If the Romans are foolhardy enough to push forward on either of those two paths, here's what they're going to have to face. They're going to have to face flaming balls, flaming balls, and another group of flaming balls, so all going to come down the hill. Then we have slingers, archers, all sorts of guys here prepared to deal death to our opponents. So that approach is very, very well defended. At first, this entire army, you can see there in the distance, the Romans were positioned here. At the last second, he shifted everything over here because he knew that, you know, um, because the defenders do have the ability to see what's coming at them, he knew that we would focus all our defenses there. Um, so a good move on his part to reposition definitely helps. Um, it means that I didn't actually position any of my defenses over here, so I'm slowly actually going to uh, send some forces over here. Not before they start shelling our towers. He knows he's going to make his approach through here. He's already taken out the first tower up through there. And so his goal is to take out the next series of towers and make his approach that much easier. So I'm going to send my hoplites up to the front. And they're going to be positioned up here. Basically, they don't know what's coming through the walls, but they can hear a slow grinding of wheels, chanting of men on the other side, reverberations of cannonade, um, of the catapults hitting the towers. And there you go tower behind them has collapsed so these guys are brave men to stand up to whatever is coming through here and we can with the camera go ahead and actually see what is coming up and that <laughs> that is holy crap that's pretty scary I don't know no actually no I'll, I'll state this I don't know that these are historically accurate but I do like um, particularly but I do know that in history people built ridiculous siege engines the Romans the Greeks um, some of them had fantastically huge contraptions massive um, battering rams, towers, catapults. They even would mount um, battering rams and siege towers on top of boats. All sorts of crazy stuff. So I don't actually um, doubt that some sort of you know uh, thing was built like this. Over on this front, the walls have actually been breached on three fronts. These huge battering rams are actually very, very useful. You can see why bring siege towers when you can just break down the wall completely. And so they're going to start taking out our positions. We did, however, return the favor somewhat with some of our towers here, doing a lot of damage to these guys. Um, but then the rest of our troops are going to go ahead and withdraw from the fight in this position, while the Roman legions are now going to close in on us to get some more action shots. I know you guys love these massive battles for the action shots, and so we're going to make sure we get as many of those as possible. Um, you can go ahead and pop this off. You can see the Romans are going to start swarming through there. They're going to take their siege towers, get up to the wall. Over in this position, shots are still running in. They're still doing damage to our towers. And over here, as the dust settles, they don't quite know what on earth broke that. And now they get a sight of these giant battering rams destroying the walls. Shots going overhead. 
Man, the cinematics of the latest Total War games are incredible. I can't wait to see what this will look like with Total War Warhammer, um, with even more crazy stuff bringing down your walls, um, fantasy elements, uh, dragons, what have you, coming out. So these guys are going to get out of the way. And now my defenders are going to try and form up. You can see my uh, towers are already starting to ping what's coming over here, and it looks like it's actually going to be Roman legions clearing the defenses. So here we go. They're going to start swarming in. Legionary cohorts up through there. The rest of the walls are going to start going down. In the rear, they have a ton of Syrian archers and other types of archers. Cavalry and elephants all prepared to come and destroy our settlement. Another wall goes down. They're going to breach our defenses. My hoplites here are trying to hold out in this position. Meanwhile, more of my guys are going to stream out from the top. This is um, I just wanted to hold the flank of the legionaries to expose their rear to my archers so I could shoot these guys in the back. But the problem is, once they breach these walls and they pour in there, that's going to be sort of the end of my guys. So I'm going to have to rush out here. My ally is bringing in some of his cartly axemen. Very good at destroying legionaries. Their armor penetrating um, axes. So here we go. We're going to start knocking these guys back. And I have more units back here. A lot of them. These are going to be um, pelt outs. And I have scorpion units that were meant to take out heavily armed legionaries, especially in Testudo. And so that's what we're going to be doing. So legionaries, the first one, um, these guys, I guess, will earn the Corona Muralis, uh, the crown for being the first to get on the enemy walls. Although I guess they did kind of walk through the walls that were destroyed. Um, but very brave legionaries. You can see my guys peeling off over there. The hoplites are, one is going to be holding against the enemy here, just to delay them. And then the other one has gone and turned to face the other Romans. So Basically, I'm holding on both fronts here, hoping no Romans infiltrate the sides, but it looks like they're going to be doing just that. Um, so, I am just trying to play the delaying game. Meanwhile, more and more walls are going to be going down. So, not looking good for us, but our, again, our intention was never to hold the walls. That would have been impossible. Here come more Romans coming. This unit over here has decided to fall back. It knew that it was just too outnumbered, and here comes all my Peltas firing into the back of the Legionnaires. That's exactly the sight they want to see. It looks like they're going to try and reform with the Praetorians actually now coming in. You can see in the distance the Romans are slowly coming in, not making much of a headway. And now they're going to chase after our guys. I'm going to form into shield wall. And then here come the Cartley Axemen charging down the right flank to help us out. But yeah, my guys are going to hold at a distance and I'm going to allow my Peltas to do as much damage. However, here come the return pill of volleys. That's going to take out some of my men, but we are as well pretty heavily armored. Should be able to hold out and shield wall pretty well. But meanwhile, the enemy still continues to pour into our city. You can see my hoplites are still holding in there uh, valiantly, holding to the last man. Meanwhile, more Praetorians, more legionary cohorts come in. These guys are taking just tons of damage to the face. But I can't budge an inch. I really want to hold this position. Meanwhile, my Peltes are going to try and shuffle over here, get some shots as the at these uh, Praetorians. But it takes a lot to take these guys out. Very heavily armored. And now my scorpions have actually positioned themselves up here, so we figured, you know, this is going to be prime target for our guys. So, going to hold these guys at the choke points and then allow the scorpions to start to target some of the more elite guys coming over the hill. You can see them cresting over. They're going to try and outmaneuver my guys, and this is exactly why I knew I had to bring some additional siege equipment. Scorpions are excellent in the narrow confines of a city like this. So there you go, more bolts shooting out. You can see them starting to pick apart the, and this is Praetorians especially, so getting a bang for my buck. Um, and we're just going to hold these guys. Cartley Axemen continuing to charge down the hill. My guys in the distance cheering. And my Peltas here are going to retreat because their flank has been exposed. Let's go ahead and look at the remainder of my Hoplites. They have gone down. Um, so the Mercenary Hoplites definitely standing strong. They held them long enough for our towers to do more damage to these guys. Over in the distance here, what I've done is I've pulled off one Mercenary Hoplite unit here just to hold this plaza. And then I have two units here, Cataf Eastern Cataphracts and Noble Blood Cav. I'm going to shuffle these around until they're both hidden so my opponent forgets about them. Meanwhile, the Romans over here have pretty much ignored this passage. They know that means death. And so what they're going to be doing is sweeping around this position, claiming towers, and just pushing on our Armenian forces, kind of just delaying the Romans. And then they're going to push up to the courtyard. But let's go back to the main thrust of the advance, which is going to be through here. So we have a ton of guys left over, um, but the Romans are going to try nonetheless to break through here. Just so many freaking Romans, um, but you know, rank after rank of our forces are going to remain here. 
and then my Peltas over in the corner do have sort of a clear shot to the remainder of the Romans. They don't want to break rank. But my Scorpion unit, I've told it to retreat. I don't have a clear line of sight because I would be hitting my own men. Meanwhile, the Romans are going to push around this flank, and this is going to spell the end of our Parthian swordsmen who have been holding out very nobly against the Praetorians. Um, but also, take a look at this mass of Balearic Slingers, Syrian Archers. This is going to help them definitely crack the defenses. Let's actually go ahead and look at this from this perspective. So a lot of the Romans shuffling back and here is the counter assault into the rear of our forces to clean these guys up. So we don't have enough men uh, on this part of the defenses to um, secure all of our sides. If you were to commit more guys to this front I would be too scared of all their missiles. That's why we didn't commit more units all up in the front. We have to use these walls to defend our guys. Keep this tower alive. Looks like at 95% damage he's still alive, still kicking. I think our opponents are out of ballista shots which is why they would have loved to kill this but because it's alive any delaying tactics we can do here means he's going to put on more free fire onto the enemy Romans. But there he goes. Our outer defenses have crashed and now they're going to be pouring the fire onto the noble spearmen. We're going to keep the noble spearmen here just as a somewhat of a sacrificial unit to hold the Praetorians back. And now I think the archers are, yeah, the Syrians are going to start to move up. They're going to pepper our guys in the defenses here. They're going to move their elephants in, general in, and then they're going to leave a couple units here just to clear up the back, prevent my guys from charging them. And there you can see my guys pull back even further. Over in this position, the Romans are still continuing to secure some plazas, some gates, and all that jazz. Uh, and they're slowly losing men at every step of the way. Um, they're losing men to the tower, they're losing men to some of our Armenians, uh, who have been cleaned up at this point, but they were getting some archer fire, cleaning up some of these guys, so nice delaying tactics. And now we're going to fall back to this position here, which is another great place to fall back to. Get some shots off there, and then keep in mind, I also have a unit positioned here at the main defenses. So yeah, we have the rear of the city very well defended, that plaza is secure. And there goes a shot. I don't think it actually hit anyone, but he's going to be doing some supporting fire. So that is going to be very useful. We also have some elite Persian archers over in this defensive area. This is just beautiful. I love city maps like this. Again, this is Persepolis where you can get these awesome shots um, and awesome defenses. I really love the epic skill of these sieges. So that's how that fight is progressing. Romans slowly rolling their way up. Meanwhile, we're going to be retreating taking a lot of damage from the Romans, but we have the supportive fire of ballista, archers on the walls, all that's jazz. So a lot of Romans, we're going to fall back to our defensive position, and some of those guys over there. Meanwhile, in this position, my ally charged forge with his royal cataphracts to try and clean up some of the Romans, but they have just so many of these um, Balearic slingers, Syrian archers, all moving into position, and they're going to slowly clean up our noble spearmen, but just look how long these noble spearmen are holding out. All the while, the Praetorians have to swing away at these massive shields and pieces of armor. It's going to be tying those guys out. That's exactly what we need. And uh, I'm not sure if my Scorpion... Okay, yeah, I told him to hold fire. I want to save my shots. So we have a lot of troops remaining in the uh, position here. And I still also have some Indian War Elephants keeping these guys here just for the opportune moment. I don't want to move them up too far because you saw how many of our opponent's uh, archers are still alive. I'm very, very scared of that. Let's go back and watch the advance of the Romans. From this position here, it's going to be a perfect killing ground. Um, looks like some of the Romans penetrated through our lines, so I had to charge them with our cavalry. So my cavalry are sitting in the sidelines, just trying to cover our forces, help them out. And some of the Romans are starting to retreat. So this is the very start of the trickle of some of the Romans breaking, but you can see many more Romans in the distance to follow up on these advances. They're securing some of the plazas over there to uh, do pings to our morale. And over here, we're going to hold that to a bloody cost. So I just wanted to show you this. A noble defense of some of our spearmen here, kind of throwing themselves in the mix to delay. But uh, it's not going to do much. We did slowly stop the Roman flag. Um, but there we go. It's going to rise again. And here we go. The Romans cheering at Persepolis as the flag starts to go up. But you can see they still have a lot left to conquer, and the plaza itself over on the right flank is going to be giving them a lot of headaches. Um, they have their units over here. Avocati are spread out. That's a smart move considering we have all these defenses up here. Romans are going to be pushing on two fronts. I tried to shoot at the fire pits, but the Romans actually advanced too quickly. You can see my Persians uh, had to retreat past 
uh, back into the defense of our spears. They tried to reach out and fire all of these, but they were out of range, and the Romans closed the distance. So that's not quite going to work. Right here, the Romans are going to finally finish up the remainder of our spearmen, not after doing a lot of kills on our part. You can see, look at all these Praetorians. But there you go, the last days of the um, heavy spearmen. Now they're going to be moving up. The remainder of the Romans are going to be pushing up through here. A lot of their skirmishers starting to form up. I don't think any of them are firing just yet. No, they don't have the line of sight, which is why, as I said, we wanted to hold back here. But now they're going to move into position. This is exactly the killing ground that I had prepared that I wanted to take uh, advantage of. Here come the Praetorians, the Romans, all these guys. You see our, our units lining up. I have guys on their flank. We have cataphracts, and my scorpions are actually over there behind this line of uh, cartley axemen. And now I think the Romans are going to start. Yep, they're getting pelted by uh, Peltas over there in the distance. They're going to get their Pila shots off, raise the Roman banner, and then they're going to start to form up into square formation soon. But yeah, we have a lot of guys still back here just waiting. And now, now the enemy archers and all that stuff is going to start raining in. Um, they're going to start picking apart our forces, um, so just chewing away at our defenses. Meanwhile, the Romans with their big shields can't afford to kind of sit back there um, to some extent, although the Peltists over here doing a great amount of damage to the extremities of the Roman flank. So we're slowly going to be whittling these guys away, chipping at the exteriors of the Roman lines, but there's lots of these guys, and they are going to start doing a lot of damage to our guys as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the fight over here. Romans are going to be pouring in the hurt. Pretty fresh Avocado going to be committed to the fight with the Cartley Axemen. With the advantage we have of the terrain, fighting on steps, I can't even imagine how this goes. But yeah, it is a fierce butchery of a fight here. Legionnaires slowly moving up the steps. A lot of men at their backs. That's what's going on here. Over on this side, they even have more Legionnaires up here. And a lot of them are held back just to throw their Pila, soften up the Spearmen. But yeah, you can see the blood on the steps as they fiercely fight for this. Uh, we're not going to give them an inch of ground. So doing as much as we can here and then pulling back to this position. It's a safer position for my archers who can now start to ping the Romans over there. So we're going to turn about and start to unleash shots from there. Romans are going around continuing to seize towers with the Evocati cohort. That's a bit of a waste. Uh, you can see they're losing Evocati here and there to archers and these towers are really not worth it. So I would say he should commit those to the fight. You know, all over here, I think our archers are either out of range or out of ammo. This artillery piece is definitely out of ammo. It wishes it had more. That is a juicy cluster of forces to, to, to hit. Let's watch this over here. So I pulled back my scorpion just a little bit so he's out of sort of the line of fire of our own Cartley Axemen. And now what we're going to do is start to fire upon the Romans. We even have some more archers back here backed up by our cataphract so it's going to be a bit of a standstill at this point the romans are going to push out here i decided to bait the romans out so i moved my hoplites here and then we get, what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull my mercenary hoplites out of position you can see it's slowly starting to move his defenses of his archers out of the way i really want to get at his archers i know he has a lot of money invested in there and they can do a tremendous amount of damage so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bait these guys and it's actually going to draw away his elephants as well so my mercenary hoplites you may wonder okay why am i doing this well it's because i have my horsemen that i've had hidden here the whole time that i want to pull into the fight i know i can take these legionnaires it's the elephants i'm more worried about so i'm going to pull these guys slowly out of position and here's the juicy target that i want to go for archers balearic slingers slowly moving up and then i decide to hold these guys so they couldn't push into the city if they had to and now that the elephants are out of position this is where I'm going to spring my trap. So let's go ahead and uh, watch the charge. So we've found our opportunity, and now we're going to try and move forward. I'm going to actually get a uh, another trooper, perhaps in the rear ranks. No, nope, looks like it's not working. Anyways, we're going to be charging forward through here. And there's my target in the distance. And now we're going to be moving forward. I'm going to start to line these guys up, and now we're going to move in for the charge. So we're going to get a nasty, devastating pillow assault on me. But we're going to charge in anyways. And here comes the heavy cataphracts coming in behind me. So I'm going to pull through these legionnaires 
and you can see the damage that's going to be dealt to them by the heavy cataphracts. So we've cleared this blockade, and now the soft targets of the Balearic Slingers are going to present, prevent the, uh, bleh, are going to present themselves, and this is exactly the target I wanted to go for. So you can see the massive number of kills being inflicted here. The cataphracts are also going to charge into this fight. That is going to be a lot of damage. So mopping up operations, always sallying forward with your units is going to be uh, a good move. So you can see me doing a lot of kills on these guys, a lot of them down to uh, three quarters or half strength. Elephants, however, have returned. That is the unit that I feared, and they're going to be coming to the this you know the rescue of their legionnaires. They're going to clean up my cavalry. And now, actually, the remainder of their Syrians do have a more open target to them. So they're going to be targeting my cav. Um, that's going to be problematic, of course. Um, my guys have heavy armor, but still, with elephants closing in, with uh, archers closing in, it's going to be doing a lot of damage. My guys are going to try and extricate themselves from the fight. I'm going to try and run outside the city, um, but I get caught up on the debris, on the siege equipment, on the troops, the all the dead bodies underfoot. You can see my guys trying to pour out of here, but we get stuck on these uh, small defenses, and now we're stuck between uh, literally a rock and a hard place. In this case, uh, it's going to be the elephants closing in on us, and the archers also pouring in the fire kind of indiscriminately, so at least I sacrifice my units to do damage hit points to his uh, elephants and also to the rest of his units here. He's now going to be moving up into position. He's taking a lot of losses here. He cleaned up my first assault, but uh, we should be doing well. Over in this position, the Romans have poured up. They did sort of move in a way where I couldn't use these fireballs. I should have pulled these back a little further. Um, but yeah, they're going to be moving up in a huge swarm of Romans. This is pretty scary for my guys. Um, and so I did a cavalry charge against them in Testuda, and then we have some um, foot soldiers here. And we're going to be pulling back more of our guys pouring out of the Citadel. But it's the combined defense that we have here of all of our archers, all of our slingers. going to be doing a lot of damage, and we have the final resort of these fireballs if we need to. But I have a lot of guys to do damage against them if we have to. And I also brought over one of my scorpion units. Where is he? He should be rolling his way on over here. Let's see if we can't find that scorpion unit. Where is he? Oh, okay, there he is. I don't know how I missed him. Yeah, scorpion unit positioned over here. So the Romans are all lined up in this pathway, this causeway of death, um, where I have slingers, archers, scorpion units, cavalry, infantry, spearmen, everything to do damage to these Romans. And what I'm going to do is going to be focusing fire on some of the Romans that are engaged, the towers also doing lots of damage. That is the problem of pushing into a city where you don't have enough artillery to take out these defensive towers. They will wreck even the most elite of Roman infantry. But he still has more moving up in Testudo. And they're going to move up this bloody causeway. Like I said, um, they did a good job of avoiding... Oh, it actually looks like some of them ran through the stakes. I think these are mostly the retreating Romans, or maybe even the Roman general himself. But yeah, most of the infantry went up through the causeway, but they still had a lot of deaths due to that. Over on this front, the elephants are, oddly enough, staring at my hoplites. <laughs> oh no, there we go. They're going to charge my guys. So that'll be the end of them. Uh, my cavalry got cleaned up, but you can see the damage inflicted on these guys. Some have 102, 107, 66, 80. So I did a fair amount of damage to these guys. Uh, and over here, the Romans are scared to push out even further, but in doing so, in holding out for longer, it's just exposing them to a lot of damage from my skirmishers. Scorpions still have ammo left, so I'm going to be picking apart the Praetorians, um, and even some of the Syrian archers coming back from over there. Be landing some nice sniper shots against these Praetorians. We're going to actually break them. So the Romans are starting to dwindle. They still have more legionary cohorts, more guys in this position. They've even up the fight somewhat and they still have elephants so this could be potentially very very dangerous on this front what I'm doing is I'm focusing fire with all of my units I have selected all of my skirmishers and what we're gonna be doing is targeting all at the same unit let's see who the unwary target is so it's gonna be these guys right here let's watch the um, just barrage of missiles come in so you can see some of the archer fire some of them are more evident because they're on flame shot but yeah, this is a lot of damage coming in at these Romans. And a lot of slinger fire hitting them. All sorts of damage being dealt. It's uh, pretty crazy stuff. And now that they've turned their flank on me, this is going to be the next target of Legionnaires. I'm waiting to see. Oh my god. That is not where you want to be as a Legionnaire. Oh, did you see that? That was my Scorpion shot. So like I said, those guys are very good in confined spaces like this. So those bolts tearing through the Romans. 
My Slinger's having just a field day against these guys, and slowly they're going to be pushing up the slopes. If they can close ranks against my guys, they just have this last uh, unit to beat, and then it's kind of all soft, squishy targets uh, from here on to the top. But I still have the fireballs left over if need be. The Romans, however, are going to start to break. These Evocati cohorts have had enough. Um, you can see them getting just demolished by my javelins once I get to close range. More of them just chewing through these guys. And then they're going to get sandwiched by our infantry. So at this point, one final Roman room, uh, unit left. It's going to be basically formed up into square. Or Testudo, I should say. I think he should be enabling Testudo, or at least I would. But yeah, he's going to be taking a lot of fire. And at this point, it's kind of hopeless uh, on this front. The Romans, let's look at this huge just line of death all the way down here. You can trace the steps of the battle. But yeah, we have more than enough to deal with the Romans. A lot of skirmishers on this front. Let's go ahead and watch the engagement over here. The Romans are starting to push through. They had their elephants charged through the front. I was able, however, to get some uh, shots on them. And they are stampeding. And they're going to be stampeding into their own units. This is actually going to effectively break the last of the Romans on this front. And that, basically, the Romans end up routing here. And the rest of the Romans routed over here. So a very, very fun battle. I really, really love Rome 2 Sieges. Some of the unique settlements are very awesome. Um, and I really want to play on Persepolis again. If you actually choose to make the city not on large but on like medium settings, then the citadel doesn't exist and the walls kind of stop right here. And so what happens is as the attacker, you actually have the ability to deploy on this plaza and from this plot, this like um, this plateau. And from the plateau, you actually have you can shoot down onto the city. I'd love to see that where you have an attacker kind of positioned on the high ground shooting down, clearing the walls, allowing then the siege showers to roll up and take the rest of the city. It'd be cool to revisit the city, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely uh, enjoying massive battles. I know you guys like them too. Let's go ahead and look at some of the stats, the kills here. So myself bringing a lot of units. I almost got enough kills to claim MVP, but it looks like Spartacus is the one to claim that he chewed through most of my guys with these legionary cohorts, getting a lot of kills. Definitely a fun battle. Totally enjoy that, and I hope to see more of this in the future. Definitely enjoy your feedback. Let me know what types of battles you'd like to see more of. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.